ending hunger is not just the government's job. Ending hunger is everybody's job. It's not right that a million Filipino families are sleeping hungry and saying na bukas I've lost all uh, will to get out of poverty kasi chronic na yung poverty nila eh. Kung gutom ka ngayon, hindi ka makakapagtrabaho, bukas gutom ka na naman. And the cycle keeps on going around and around and around. May bagong programa ang Department of Social Welfare and Development kasunod ng pagkakalagda ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. sa Executive Order No. 27 o ang reorganization sa Interagency Task Force on Zero Hunger. The program aims to alleviate hunger and poverty for families belonging to the lowest income bracket. With the Philippine Development Agenda 2023 to 20 transfers that will be loaded with food credits amounting to 3,000 pesos to purchase a select list of food commodities from DSWD accredited local retailers. Tek, paano yung uh, funding nito? Saan siya manggagaling? Because yesterday, the president said that the food stamp program is just still on the pipeline yep. in partnership with the ADP. Tama yun. It's a very good question. Um, when we jo Let me just step one, step backwards. Saan nang galing to? Remember, the president's dream during the campaign was to end hunger. Ang pangarap niya, walang Pilipinong pamilya dapat natutulog ng gutom. That's why we made this bold statement. Walang gutom 2027. We want it to be the president's legacy that right before he steps out of office, wala nang Pilipinong gutom. As he evolves the economy into higher yielding jobs, we have to make sure that we're making the right human capital investment so that they can partake of those jobs that's being generated. Kasi diba, we don't want it to be a scenario wherein we ev they, the president's evolving the economy, evolving the types of jobs that's being generated, pero a million Filipino families cannot partake of that fruit of that economic change. We want it to be inclusive. So, tama ka, it's still in the design stage because what's happening right now is we are working with the World Food Program who has vast technical expertise uh, when it comes to running food stamp programs worldwide. And then the ADB was kind enough to provide close to 3 million US dollars for the six months pilot that will run in the middle part of this year towards the latter part of this year. So this year we're in the design and piloting stage. What does that mean? We, in every big large scale program, you don't want to launch it without studying it and going through the details. So we, they've identified five pilot sites coming from different uh, geographic, uh, geopolitical uh, characteristics. Meron tayong in the Barm area, what used to be a former conflict area. Two, geographically isolated uh, regions or provinces. Three, uh, in urban poor settings. Uh, four and four will be uh, calamity-driven, uh, stricken areas. And the fifth will be uh, rural poor. So we have to make sure that yung konteksto ng programa will be designed na naaangkop sa bawat lugar. Kasi what might work for one may not work for the other, but the general framework should be the same. Access uh, to food, nutritious, delicious, and affordable food for every single Filipino family. So the remainder part of the six months, fully funded by grants from the ADB. That's why the president opened it yesterday in ADB, and we are thankful. The DSWD is very thankful to the technical support and grant support that the ADB has extended to us. So with that, sir, could you walk us through the timeline, sir? Kailan ang start ng pilot testing, and when do we expect it to launch nationwide? Yeah. Well, first things first, we are in the design stage. As we speak right now, we have the first draft of design. And we will spend the remaining months of May and June in the design stage. We all know that the devil will be in the details. And we have hired multiple consultants in the department to, to like, take a second look at what's being designed para may check and balance. Uh, noteworthy will be Professor Briones of PIDS, who is a known hunger and poverty expert. He has volunteered to jump on as a consultant of the department. Para whatever is being produced and designed in those right shops will be given a second glance. I just don't have his first name. I call it Roel, I think. Roel Briones. Uh, also, we are working with PSA's in-house uh, poverty expert who is there, Yusek. Yusek Dennis Mapa. Um, he is helping us craft the concept there. Um, so the remaining May and June, we will work with designing it. Now, July to December will be the pilot run. 
for those regions that we've identified. We actually have the municipalities, but we just want to vet them properly. Mm -hmm. And then we have to also work with the economic team on trying to package the economic side of it or the financing side of it. So hopefully uh, next year we get to do the run, the actual run, early part, first quarter of next year. But we have to point out uh, that we will not also do it simultaneous one million. That's trouble waiting to happen. We have to do it in a progressive manner. Uh, we have to do the pilot at 3,000 families, 300,000 hopefully next year, the first run, another 300,000 right after, and then hopefully reach the magic number of 1 million on the succeeding year. But all throughout that program, we will continuously measure and keep, we will keep on measuring the beneficiaries. Ending hunger is not just the government's job. Ending hunger is everybody's job. It's not right that a million Filipino families are sleeping hungry and saying na bukas, I've lost all uh, will to get out of poverty kasi chronic na yung poverty nila eh. Kung gutom ka ngayon, hindi ka makakapagtrabaho, bukas gutom ka na naman. And the cycle keeps on going around and around and around. May bagong programa ang Department of Social Welfare and Development kasunod ng pagkakalagda ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., the Executive Order Number 27 or on Reorganization the Interagency Task Force on Zero Hunger. The program aims to alleviate hunger and poverty for families belonging to the lowest income bracket. With the Philippine Development Agenda 2023 to 20 transfers that will be loaded with food credits amounting to 3,000 pesos to purchase a select list of food commodities from DSWD accredited local retailers. Thank you.